No, not really. Um, you know, thinking about coming back, you know, after the bowl game, it wasn't really a hard decision for me. Um, just, I really hadn't played that much. I mean, I've been here a while, but I really hadn't played as much as I wanted to, and it was a no-brainer for me to come back. And we're building something special here, and I wanted to be a part of that and, uh, you know, help that progress. How are your knees doing? Doing good. Feeling the best I have, you know, since I've been here. Austin, Jason Caldwell, Auburn 247. Building on that, how, how vital has it been for you just to have a year where you're able to play and stay out there? I know you had a, just a little bit of minor stuff at the end of the year, but you've been able to play for a full year now. How, how beneficial has that been? It was big. Um, just the experience, just the speed of the game was big. Because, um, you know, I've played going back to 2018 just here and there a little bit. And, uh, but being a starter, being out there full game, you know, it was good just to get the feel and the speed of the game and experience, obviously. Austin, Johnny Conn and ABC 34, you were working there. Just wanted to ask you about both quarterbacks. Uh, just talk to me about the leadership that they have in the huddle and who's kind of taking command of that huddle early well, on. Well, they're all doing a good job. They all got a good command in the huddle. Um, you know, I, not one guy standing out to me right now. You know, they're all, you know, doing their thing. And, you know, this competition is going to, you know, be good for the whole team. I mean, everyone's competing for a job right now. It's fall camp. So, but all three of those guys are doing good. Austin, Bill Cameron from ESPN, one of those that sat here down. Big competition, and, and I mean, you got a ton of guys, you and quite a few other experienced players down on the offensive line. And obviously, that's one of the first things everybody talks about is concerns on the offensive line. How do you feel about that? What do you think about the offensive line and, and talk about the competition? You know, we're a confident group. We know what we're, you know, capable of. Uh, we have a lot of depth, you know, especially interior. Um, and a lot of guys that can play a lot of different positions. So, you know, we're confident. There's a lot of things that we need to work on. Um, but, you know, we're just building the, you know, the camaraderie of the unit and going to get better every day. Austin Spencer, you know, the Montgomery advertiser. Coach Harson said yesterday, you know, you can talk about mindset sort of stuff all you want, but, but really you got to, in terms of improvements from last year, the physicality element is by what have you guys sort of done this off season to sort of improve from a physical standpoint and just sort of be prepared for, you know, the SEC gauntlet. Really just everything we do with Coach Pitt um, yeah. and his staff. They do a great job in the off season and the summers and, you know, in the winters. Um, and they prepare our bodies, you know, for a battle every single Saturday in the SEC. Um, and that's really about it. You know, it's about mindset. Um, if you're strong mentally, you're going to be strong physically. And, you know, that's what we're, we're building as a team, specifically in the offensive line. Is there anything sort of specifically with, with Coach Pitt that has sort of stood out to you as, as helping you out? Um, really just how heavy we go, um, especially as an offensive line in every lift. Um, that's, you know, building that armor up for the season. Uh, he's done a good job. How heavy do you go? Uh, not, as, not quite as heavy as some other guys. But. <laughs> awesome. Justin Burgess and Auburn Observer. We've heard a lot about camp stats this summer, so I'm out there today with, with the first team. Uh, again, what, what is it about him that's kind of made him take that step forward? Knowing what to do. I think he really got in the playbook. And um, running off the football, you know, he's got really good get off. Um, that's one thing that stands out about Stuss, but he's doing a really good job. And, um, you know, he's going to continue to work. Austin, uh, Brian Matthews, Auburn Rivals. Do you feel like you're selling at right tackle? Do you feel like that's a good spot for you? Yeah, I mean, I'm comfortable at either tackle. Um, wherever Coach Friend needs me to play, you know, Coach Keys and Harson, I'll play it. What's, it. what's it been like to have the same offensive line coach and – I mean, you've had a bunch of them yeah. since you've been here. How valuable has that been to, to just, be in the same system? Just terminology. You know, we know what he's thinking. You know, he knows how we play and what we're thinking. So that's huge. You know, I've had a lot, like you said, over over the years. But, you know, Coach Friend, he's, you know, top notch. Austin, Nathan King, Auburn 24 7. With Killian in the spring, obviously, you know, a lot of you guys were, were sidelined, you know, for varying amounts of time. But he was kind of, you know, locked down there at that, at that left tackle spot. Just, what kind of growth did you see out of him with just continuing to be able to get first team reps really for the first time since he's been here? It's huge for him, you know, staying in one spot. You know, he got all the reps that left in spring, like you said. Um, but going, like, just like me, he hasn't played much, um, but he's a heck of a player. And um, he continues to get better and better and better every every day. Um, and he'll continue to do that. Austin, what would you tell a young guy, a lot younger than you now, that's, that's, uh, that's just coming in here about the difference in being recruited and what it's like when you get here? Get in shape. Don't come in out of shape. 
I'd say that, number one. Um, number two is set the playbook. If you know what you're going to do, you got a shot. You know, if you know what to do, you got a shot. And if you're in shape. Awesome. Martin Murphy from Inside Knowledge of Tigers and 24 7. Uh, big picture, what are this team's potential, uh, particularly for the offense and the team, and also for the team as a whole? You know, I don't think we're really, there's a high ceiling for this offense. You know, there's playmakers everywhere. We got offensive line, plenty of experience up front. Um, so, you know, I expect us to have a really good year this year. Austin, in SEC BD days, you guys were picked last to finish in the SEC West. It's one of the leaders on this team. Is that something that you guys have talked about in that room, or is that just outside noise you don't even talk about? It? We don't really talk about it. You know, we, what, we know what we're capable of, so that's just noise on the outside. We don't really pay attention to it. Dan Peck, ESPN 167. Austin, at times last year, the team struggled in short yardage situations. Has that been a focus of the offseason? Is that something the offensive line maybe took personal from last year? Well, yeah. I mean, short yardage situations, that's on the offensive line. Um, we took that personal, and that's, you know, one emphasis that we're going to put on. I mean, we need to get better everywhere, but um, especially short yardage, you got to win those situations. For a couple more questions, we'll go down here. Were you in shape when you got here? I was in shape when I got here, yeah. All right, good. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, 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 Thanks. Thanks.